All right, good morning, good morning. Listen, ladies, it is day four of our 21 days of devotion, and I am a little bit behind on the time, and I told you we were still going to do it even on Sunday morning. If you are in the room with me on this morning, just send me a good morning. Let me know you are here. Good morning, Sister Helena. Good morning, Sister Stephanie. Listen, we are on day four of our day of our 21 days of devotion. Uh, good morning, Sister Keisha. 21 days of devotion. All right, we're going on a journey together for 21 days. Uh, like I said on um, the past couple days, if this is your first time watching, go back and watch all the replays. Every day, I'm going to get up and share the devotional with you. I did not want to press it upon you to purchase the book, but it's 21 Days of Powerful Prayers for Women by Lady Leah Hill McNair. And it was a challenge that I took, and I wanted to share it with the women of our church as well, okay? So make sure you share the video. Let others be a part of this. We definitely want to be able to share the devotional every day. Like I say in Bible study on every Tuesday, be bold. And being bold, even in our virtual world, means being able to share the video so that other people can hear the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. So on yesterday, it was a you win type of day. But on today, guess what we are talking about on today? Wave stopping. Yes, girlfriend, your daddy knows how to stop waves. And how ironic is it that it was the same sermon that our pastor preached last Sunday. Listen, I'm down here in the basement in the classroom. I'm here at Ninth Street. I'm excited to be back at church on today. And I'm excited about what we're talking about on today. It's called wave stopping, all right? And today, we are going to be rejoicing that our father Father stops ways. Listen, the scripture for this morning's journal is, excuse me, for our devotional is Matthew chapter 8, verses 23 through 27. And I'm going to be reading to you the New International Version. And it says, Then he got into the boat, and his disciples followed him. Without warning, a furious storm came up, uh, came up on the lake, so that the waves swept over the boat. But Jesus was sleeping. The disciples went and woke him saying, Lord, save me. I'm going to drown. He replied, you of little faith, why are you so afraid? Then he got up and rebuked the winds and the waves and it was completely calm. The men were amazed and asked, what kind of man is this? Even the winds and the waves obey him. Hey, what kind of man is this? Even the winds and the waves obey him. Listen, like I told you, our daddy knows how to stop waves, all right? Isn't it powerful that in one sentence, Jesus took something that was overpowering the disciples and he reversed it. Put it in the comments if you're watching on the replay. Reverse, because that's what the Lord did on this morning. He reversed its effects so that they wouldn't drown in the storm. So powerful that the disciples who knew him and knew him well had to step back and ask themselves, what manner of man is this? Meaning how great is this person? This shows, how, shows us how amazed they were by what he had done in their lives on that night. And I believe that God wants to do the same for us on this morning, ladies. He wants to bless us. He wants to bless us in such a way that it exceeds and surpasses whatever we ever thought or believed he could do. In other words, God wants to do what he wants to blow your mind. Listen, if you're expecting God to blow your mind, just put that in there. I want him to blow my mind. Yes, because I'm looking for him to blow my mind. Listen, as Jesus spoke to the winds, rebuked their raging and calmed the overwhelming waves in the sea, the storm had no choice. Put that in the comments. No choice. It had no choice but to subside and the ship glided smoothly. Danger had to flee and everybody in the ship was blessed beyond measure. In the same way, when God is in the midst of our raging storm, no matter how out of control and loud it gets, when he makes, listen, when he makes the executive decision, all right? That your storm is over, it has no other no other choice but to shut up and to back down. Listen, I'm gonna repeat that one more time because I don't even think y'all y'all really heard me when I said that. Listen, when he makes the executive decision that your storm is over, your storm can't do nothing but shut up and do what? Back down. It's going to bag down. So today, I want you to make this a wave-stopping day. No matter how strong the waves get on today, 
Listen, no matter how strong they get on today, because even on Sunday, them waves be, they be raging too. No matter how loud the wind blows, you will not drown in this storm. Because when God makes the executive decision, it has no other choice but to shut up and back down. Listen, God is speaking peace to your storm on this morning. And every wave that is trying to take you under has to cease. Jesus is in the boat with you, ladies. And I declare to you today, I'm declaring it to you today, that your storm is officially O-V-E-R. It is over. Put that in the comments. It is over. Listen, here's something that I was reading this on my way here. What I saw too is that when God told the waves to stop, when he said for them to cease, there was immediate evidence. And somebody on here on this morning is looking for some immediate, some immediate evidence. And I'm letting you know right now, the evidence is going to be in your prayers. So you got to keep praying. You got to keep, you got to stay on your knees. And, and here's your prayer nudge for this morning, for, to, for day four, okay? You need to release every negative thought. I mean, every negative thought, negative experience, feelings of stress, strain, depression, fear. And you got to declare it today. The storms must cease. God gave us that authority to cease. So when you can't do it, just ask God, say, God, hey, I need you to go ahead and tell these storms to calm down. I need you to tell them to calm down. And he will speak over your storm. When the way seems dark, let the Holy Spirit illuminate the way in which you should go. All right? So when God makes the executive decision, it has no choice but to shut up and to back down. And guess what? It's time for those storms to be over. I want you to also remember that when you go to your prayer closet on this morning that uh, to ask God while you're handling the problem, allow me, help me to be able to handle the praise. Because even while you're in a storm, you still got to thank him in advance. You still got to thank him for the peace that's on the way. You still got to thank him for the breakthrough that is on the way. You still got to thank him for the restoration that is on the way. Somebody is looking for a restoration of their marriage, their finances, a restoration of your mind. But you still got to thank him in advance. So let him handle, let him handle the problem while you handle the praise. Listen, let's make it a wave-stopping day. Again, your daddy knows how to stop them waves, all right? So on today, in your prayer closet, you go to him and you ask him to cease those storms. But while he's handling it, you still got to praise. Listen, we're getting ready to have church in a little bit. So I want to see you. I want to hear you on the conference line at 930 for Sunday school. But if you can't make it down to the, to the church with your mask at 10 o'clock, make sure you join me online. Facebook Live as we start our new sermon series with Pastor Cardone today. I guarantee you it is a word for you on today. Listen, ladies, you guys be blessed, and I will see you tomorrow morning sometime between 7.30 and 8 o'clock a.m. for day six, and day six is going to be good. You guys be blessed. I love you, and have an awesome, awesome Sunday as we be reminded that our daddy does what? He stops waves.